Okay, so bad news is that our left hand is not working anymore, so I guess this hand should be going away. Um, we're going to have to hack our body again and make it so that we can have control of our hand back. So, you know, I kind of wish that, like, when uh, you're your body starts failing you and you're working on these kinds of jobs like there's some kind of an indicator while you're trying to hack that would that would show it like I don't, I don't know like some part of the keyboard is is messed up or something or if it's your eye that's messed up like the left side of the screen's darker or something but maybe that would make it a little more annoying to try and solve the problem but anyway uh, in order to fix our hand, we need to be sending some signals around. And this is kind of a kind of a monster of timing. Uh, my original solution to try and handle it only had two agents that would just like jump in between, but that was pretty slow. So now I'm going to actually drop an agent at each of the nerves that are going to communicate and they're going to try and time it out. So here's what's happening. We have a signal coming from the central nervous system, which is going to send a signal from this nerve over to the hand nerve. Then we have heat and pressure in the hand that need to be sent back to the central nervous system. So this from the central nervous system over for M, which stands for your muscle, and then heat and pressure need to go be going the other way. So here's what's gonna happen. A and B are going to be in charge of deploying the central nervous system teams and the hand team. So they go their separate ways and I lined them up. So I had uh, B go across first and then no op and wait. Uh, a is going to head over here. Once they get here, B is going to drop a, read, a reader who's going to uh, take the signal and send it out on the M register. And A is going to drop a writer who's going to take a signal on M and put it into the into the nerve. Uh, then X and A and B will go and they'll create flippers. So this one's going to become a reader and this one's going to be a writer. And then they're going to drop them and then they're going to take the role of reader and writer on the last set of nerves themselves. So now we've got agents set in each of the nerves. Now to time it out, I just threw in a bunch of no ops to manually handle it for me. Uh, there's three. So the readers will copy a nerve, no op three times, and then jump back up. And you'll see that uh, what that'll do is when this pair, the, the muscle pair need to communicate, the other two pairs will be on, they'll be waiting. They'll be, they'll be no opping or jumping. They won't be reading or writing any mixed signals. And you'll see that, uh, so the pressure one just communicated. So next up is going to be the muscle one. They're going to communicate. Then the next pair communicates. Then the next pair communicates. And just everything is timed out nicely. They're sending the messages across. Uh, it results in a pretty fast solution, but not a particularly concise one, uh, which you will see. So uh, these are designed, it's in your body, there's no leave no trace requirement here. Uh, so they're designed to run indefinitely. So each group will be deployed out and just start send sending those signals all together. Uh, but thankfully with the manual coding, it does work out pretty nicely. Uh, if I fast forward this, you'll see that the the speed is pretty good uh but i did not come up with a particularly concise solution i did have one that was more concise you'll see that it was like 24 which had me down there but that did uh result in cycles that were considerably higher for actually executing it and since in general i try to go for lower cycles i decided to go for the the, the, the timing one instead of just having originally i had a pair of agents like a would go here, receive a signal and write it. Then it would link over here, write a signal out. Then go over here, write a signal out and then link back and then repeat the process over and over again. I had one agent hopping between the three spots to communicate, which is a shorter solution. You can write it more concisely, but it does, it's not as performant. So yeah, our, our hand is working and I, I, can, I can flail it around as I talk as much as I want to now.